Hello everyone and welcome to the RNG University. On tonight's episode, have I got a show for you. And that is Demir Toxic. Remember when I last tried running Demir Toxic? I was entirely drawing lands every game I played and I can only ever give my opponent up to 9 Toxic. And so, uh, so far, I did not have any success with this deck. However, what I see is a lot of other people having extreme success that makes me super, super jealous. So I'm going to come back and try out this deck again. Now that uh, there have been a lot of fine-tuning that other people have done for me that I don't have to do myself. So this deck is toxic, but it also runs off the proliferate theme. What we have is uh, 4 Billerous Skull Wilder, Skull, Skull Wilder uh, 1 mana for a toxic creature, then 4 Belly, uh, Blight Belly Rat, 2 mana toxic that also proliferates when he dies. Then we have 2 Venzer, Corpse Puppet, that is lifelink toxic, but also whenever we proliferate, we can create a 3-3 three, three, basically fake Karn to beat our opponents with. We can also give it Flying, or light, or flying and Lifelink to help us stay alive. Then we have the 2 mana, 2-1, two, Void Wind Hybrid, 4 off. We need this because it is not legendary, right? Venzer is legendary, so we only run 2 off. But Void Wind, we have 4 off that is toxic and it's flying, but also whenever we proliferate, we can bring it from the graveyard back to our hand. So it's a lot of recursion. And with that, these are all the toxic creatures we're going to run. We are still winning via toxic with poison counters, but we're not relying on just creatures. We're going to do a lot of proliferating. So we have Raska's Fall to uh, basically have our opponent lose a creature and also get a poison counter. Then we can proliferate using Experimental Augury, using Drown in Ecor, and using Reject in Perfection. All of these are our proliferate cards. We also then have Tenkudo in... Query Dominus. I'm hopefully not saying that right. I only have one off. I'm only gonna run one off. And basically, whenever we proliferate, we can proliferate twice. Then we have uh, Bring the End, uh, Bring the Ending, which is a two mana counter spell that is kind of like Make Disappear, but if our opponent's corrupted, which is three or more uh, poison counters, then it's just straight up a counter spell. Uh, and then we also have Four, Distorted Curiosity, a three mana draw two spell, which is not very good, but if our opponent's corrupted, which is three or more poison counters, we can have a one mana draw two card, uh, draw two spell, which is way crazier. And then I have one Kaito, I don't have two Kaito, I would like to have two, but I only have one Kaito, Dancing Shadow, in the deck, and that is for uh, Endless Recursion with the plus one, bouncing any of these creatures back, and then a plus zero to create, uh, to draw a card, and then a minus two to basically get a Drone Artifact Creature token that uh, can deal damage, but mainly the we're there for the draw cards, right? We want to draw a lot of cards, and we can bounce our one drops and two drops and basically play it out again very easily. So kind of, that's kind of the theme of the deck. We have 24 lands, uh, 5 Island, 1 Ottawara, 5 Swamp, 1 Takanuma, uh, and then 4 Dark Slick Shores, 4 Shipwreck Marsh, 4 Underground Rivers for all of the dual color lands that we're ever going to need. So the, there's a very basic Demir Toxic deck. There's a lot of other ways you can go about that. You can cut some of these cards to put in Prologue to Phyresis to force your opponent to get a Poison Counter regardless of what they're doing. Uh, that could be good, right? But I don't like that card as much right now because it's not impactful enough. It's very good for a control meta, but for more of a tempo meta, it doesn't do anything to our opponent's board. Unlike Raska's Fall, for example, where they have to get rid of a creature and also get a Poison Counter. So I want to see how well this style of a deck can do. Uh, we, I want to rely on Venzer because uh, whenever we proliferate, we can make a 3-3 three, three, uh, Golem, which is very good. Because if, that, if it dies, we can bring another one back, right? And that is uh, basically how we can rely on Venzer to keep generating value. And Venzer is also toxic, so if our opponent leaves himself open, we can start attacking with him. And that is the deck list that I want to go with. I want to try out this deck to see how good it is. So let's go ahead and enter some games. Alright, we found an opponent fairly quickly, and they're probably going to play, be playing some form of control to stop all of our thing, or a mono red burn to burn our face off. And of course the Shuffler decided we need some Bring the End and a Blight Rat. Oh, uh, we have two drops, and opponent's going first. I guess we'll keep. Our only one drop is the Billerous Skull Wilder, so there's no guarantee that we're going to get that. And our opponent's also toxic. Very toxic indeed. So we don't have a one drop, might as well play the tap land first. And now we are poisoned. 
And now they play high. Fan freaking fantastic. So we can play the corpse puppet and hope that something happens. Annex Sentry. He attacks? That is not correct. You should not have attacked. Because now I can get rid of his Annex Sentry with a Drown and Necor. Uh, submit zero, I guess. Not great, but at least I can get rid of it. Otherwise, I could not have uh, been able to target it with the Skrulls on the board. Well, I guess he has two, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna leave. Our opponent has the best draws, and we are going second, so we're kind of on the back foot against a toxic deck that we'll never be able to come back from. This deck does not come back from behind. And that's Magic Arena for you. Uh, this is what they're doing to Magic. Partially, it's my fault for playing a deck like this, but basically, nowadays, every game is a point coin flip. And with Arena, that coin flip is always skewed to your opponent uh, if you know what you're doing, which kind of is counterintuitive. But basically, the better uh, better you are at playing the game, the worse you will be at playing the game. That made any sense. Uh, our opponent goes first again. Look at that. And this time we get a one drop, but then we don't have any two drops. And we only have two lands, so this is going to be very risky. But we get two draws at it, so you know what? Why bother? Kumano. All right, we get a land. So we can start with the Bellowless Skull Wielder. See if it makes a big thing. Modarian Epicor. Can't attack, so I guess they'll just pass turn. And if you're gonna pass turn, I'm gonna pass turn. Attacking here really doesn't do much. We just block, and that'll be the end of that story. He's gonna cycle his blood token. Yes. I can hold up a bling, a bling, a bring to end, but then I don't know what to do next. Monetary Swiss beer. Okay. Monastery. Momentary. Mono red. Call out attack. Okay, I guess I'll block the Swiss beer because that's the only one that grows. These two, they're scary, but. He has no spells to play. That's a normal game, right? Well, I have no spell to play either. Squee. I have to counter that. But then we're taking four again. So, that's fun. This is what it's like to play from behind. Phoenix Chick. This is flying, this is flying. I can block the chick if I want to. But <laughs> I don't know where we're coming from back from this. This is four damage a turn. This king's on life. Alright, I don't think he can deal four damage. Nice second squee you got there. Uh, we can play Kaito and then create a drone. We just gain two life from the drone. How good is that? Whereas in the Blight Rat can block and proliferate. How good is proliferating when we have nothing to proliferate on? So I guess Kaito it is. I'll take I've got the technological edge. Alright, we're at five. Effectively seven if you can gain some life from this. Actually, this doesn't even die, huh? Because of the Kumano. Thundering Raiju. Alright, how does he want to attack? So, I can block this. That's three. And I can block this. So I take one, two, three, four, five. I still die. That's fun. Nice deck you got. Have you ever tried going second?
See, I never face any of those kind of fast decks when I'm playing control. All right? Every time I play control, my opponent's gonna be some degenerate, even more control mill deck. But every time I try to switch it up just a little bit, all these aggro decks come flashing in somehow. And for whatever reason, that's how the matchmaker decided that's people. That's how people like to play Magic, which I guess that is how we like to torture ourselves. Hello. We're going first, and we have two drops only. So let's hope that our opponent's not some degenerate fast running. That's eh, probably not. That's a cryptic command. So a handful of counter spells to stop all of our plays. Or just a roper, because he is roping on this mulligan. Buddy, come on. You are in platinum. There's no reason to take that long to mulligan. We all know we we all suck, all right? We were very bad at the game. That's why we're in platinum. So don't worry about it. Let's start with the rat or start with the wings. Let's start with the wings. No kill spell for the wings. Now he's gonna kill. Cut down. Okay. I guess I can hold up the Raspus Fall. It's not great, but it's something. He doesn't play anything. I guess I'll just run the Vraska's Fall there to give him a poison counter. Okay. He doesn't want to play anything. I'll play a little rat. He wants to kill my rat. It proliferates. A braid. Yeah, you can have that. Fine. It proliferates, so they get one more. And also get my Void Wing hybrid back. That's a fun combo. And then they quit. Well, there you go. Our opponent's also not having a lot of fun. This is a problem with Magic Arena that I feel like it's the problem with standards nowadays. But especially on Arena because of how the matchmaker and the shuffler likes to rig these games is that most of the time the losing player isn't having a lot of fun. Now, uh, it sounds obvious if you're losing, you probably aren't having fun, but Back in the days when we're playing Magic, it's all about the back and forth. And even when you lose, you were having fun losing. It sounds weird, but that's really how we used to play Magic. But here we are. Three lands, one drop. But we're going second, of course we are. Uh, mono red. No. Let's see how the game goes. Is it gonna be a... No, not really. Whatever that burn spell is. Play with fire. Oh, it's Rakdos. Okay, that's why I wasn't a play with fire. Tenacious Underdog, that's interesting. So, would your Underdog like to block? You wanna trade a one drop for a two drop? You wanna trade? It's a top pick. You don't wanna trade. Well, that's a mistake for you, because if you don't trade, I'm gonna play a little rap. What are you gonna do, attack me? He is gonna attack me. I mean, I'll take the three. It's not really. Uh, no, you know what? I'll block it. I get the one toxic in, anyways. But then I can play Vraska's Fall on whatever creature he plays now. Submit. Fable? No, Blood Tide Harvester. That's less interesting. I thought it would be something cool. Alright, well, let's just attack again. See what happens. He does block. Get rid of his uh, Blood Tide Harvester for me. And I will hold up my mana. I have a lot of 3 mana plays, so it's better to hold it up than to play a Billerous Skull Wider and just not have a 2 mana play. Alright, our opponent has nothing. Pitches his land. To play a... Another Underdog. You know, you know what, let's get rid of... You can have that. Play another land. Pass. Get rid of it. Get out of here, you. There's a lot of underdogs in your graveyard. And now I have a skull winder. For that tiny slow toxin. He is at three already, so a uh, bring to the end is live. Fable. Let me counter that. Proliferate one on you. Four. Let's be 
curious. Hmm. Okay, I don't think there's any other card I could play in the aggro meta or in the aggro version that matters before I attack, so I will attack first. Just want to make sure I draw that. Do I want to bring to end this? To save a skull water. I don't want to. You can. You can kill that. That is your choice. Let's distort again. Now I can play a land and drop my drop my hybrid. Not drop my hybrid. Hold up counter spell. Yeah, let's hold up counter spell. He only has two spells. And if he plays an uh, underdog, I'll take the damage. So what is that? That is gonna be a 3-1 that can transmorph, but can block, so it's nothing to me. Very scary card you got there. It's a land. Underdog? I'll take the three. Ooh, scary. Okay, so we can play the Venzer baby. And we'll pass turn. No reason to kill it right now, because our drawn Echor can hit something else later. Now is a perfect time for a counter spell. Uh, let's just stop that from happening. No card draw for you this round. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Oh, Experimental Augury. Came a little late. Uh, will I need that before I attack? I don't think so. So let's go for the attack first. Alright, uh, I will play the Augury right here. Even though it's an instant, I want to be able to find a land. I will be able to find a land here. So, uh, do I want to keep drawing an Ichor? It's a pretty good card, but if I can find a land, I can play two spells. Great. My little token right here. And now I can play the Blight uh, Belly Rat. And I'll end the turn. I guess I'm holding up two lands, uh, just so that I could look like I have a counter spell, but I don't have a counter spell. Go for the door on my Benzer. Then I'll take two. Do I want to block? A 3-3 three, three into that. No, I'll take some damage, and it's kind of pointless to do that. So I'll take that damage that I don't like to. And now I will go for an attack. Okay. Well, here is Death Touch. And here's the hybrid. And you caught me. I wanted to proliferate and kill your card. So let me kill that guy. Uh, submit one. He's at 8 poison, dies from just one more toxic because this is a proliferate toxic on its own. He attacks, I will block and take 2. Is this trample? It's not trample, right? So I'll take 2. Does he have any response to my attack though? I guess this attack he can block here and he will take the one toxic. And then I'll die. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's no way around that. Again, I got my bonus 9 Toxic, and we draw land. So, eh. You know what? Let's see how he blocks. That was the right play. GG. A little bit slow. Uh, maybe it was right to not take the Swamp, but take the Drawn Ecore instead. Hindsight, right? Who would have known that I only draw lands? I never draw lands in my life. At least the games are going by fast because I can see very quickly. I'm like some ropers out there. <laughs> now our opponent is good. G Rare. He's probably going to play Mono Red. Got some degenerate Urza player. Uh, we get to go first, and we have a. Oh no, that's not a one drop. I was going to say, and we have a one drop. That is a world first, but we don't. So, uh, Shipwreck Marsh first, because we don't have a 1-drop. Yeah, Dark Slip Shores. Okay, I guess we are mirror matching. 
Gonna kill this right away. Cut down, so we're not mirror matching. Some sort of Esper deck, maybe? A Grixis, okay. Hmm. I'm playing off curve here instead of holding up the Raskus Fall, but the way you play the Bank Buster, I don't know if he has a 3 drop. Corpus Razor, nice 3 drop. Wow, he pitched to make this appear. And then he wants to attack me. So, uh, that's probably Shieldred, my guess is. Let us get rid of his Shieldred. Oh, I played it too fast. See, this is what happens when I play too fast. I can't take that back. Uh, I, I forgot to attack first. The proliferate doesn't hit because he's not toxic yet. I'm gonna be off by one toxic, I just know it. That's an oops moment. Blood tie harvester, okay. Huh. Well, I can hold up the bring the end, right? Is he gonna invoke me? He is gonna invoke me. I'm gonna take a lot of damage just to invoke me. Get out of here, you. No invoke for you. Too greedy. No attacks either. So that means we're gonna go for. All out war. In response to that, mm. I mean, you can crew first. Then, you sack a creature. There goes your blood high harvester. Block the, block the rat. Liberate. Take another one. Now you're a six. And then we top taking lands. To be fair, we only have five lands, so it's not that crazy of a land draw. Cut down, okay. Do you have another Corpse Appraiser? Not a Corpse Appraiser. Gonna have to block this. No blocks? That's gutsy. He's also a six. I mean, I would welcome and invoke despair because that can get rid of my belly rat. He has Brotherhood's End. I'm not going to block that. Right, I'm going to top deck a land. I just know it. Of all the good spells I could have in the deck, I'm going to get a land. Hello, little... I've got Pong Pong Chung. Corpse Appraiser. Nice draw. Basically, the only card he needed to stop my whole deck from running. And then the only card I needed, I'm not going to get. I'm going to get a land. Anything else you want to do? Another Fable? Oh, he's not using the life. Drown an Ecor is pretty good. If I drown it right now, he's gonna blip, or he's gonna prove his Bank Buster, right? Uh, whereas in this is a sorcery, so there's not other way I can do this. If I attack, what do you do? I don't need to draw an Ecor. I don't think anything happens with my attack here. Just bring it up to 8. This will bring it up to 9. 
And then he'll have a free turn to do whatever he wants. Kind of the idea. Have to do it. Kill his mana maker. And one. Okay, we have a lot of ways to get one toxic counter on our opponent. Let's see if we can get it. Nine. Like I said, right, with this deck, it feels like you always get to 9, but you can never get to 10. But I feel like that was my mistake in the beginning. If I had attacked first before I proliferated, I would have got 10. So yeah, I, entirely my loss. But this is how you get flustered playing these games. Sometimes it's just the worst sets of hands for like 5 hands in a row. Alright, what else we got? Island! Look at that. Bye. So we got drowned in our own ecor there, and uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Play another game. Uh, when it comes to the mirror toxic, the games are really are going by very quickly. Not very fun though, but very very quickly. And the problem with that is it's very balanced on a razor's edge. You can either get a very good hand, and in those cases you win a lot of games very easily, or you get a terrible hand or a terrible matchup of an opponent, and you go second, and you just lose very quickly. So yeah, there's those. Our opponent's grim now. Uh, we're going first. No one drops still, so... Uh, guess we'll drop an island first. I, I used the wrong emote. Let me just say the high Planks. Humans. Oh no. Rats. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack this. block that. Here comes Thalia to ruin my day. Soldiers. Recruitment officer. I mean... Are we just trading here or do I want to drown it so I can get some toxic in? I need to get the toxic in for something to start, right? And that means I have to drown it first. Not fun. Not fun at all. And I don't even think it's gonna work. Because I just wasted a whole turn to get my Toxic in. And now they can have stuff now. They can have stuff that I cannot overcome. Yeah, so that was fun. Alright, I'm gonna quit now. This draw is not gonna win on that against that opponent in this style. Uh, missing a land drop on turn 4 is not going to help, but there's really no way to get out of that situation. We needed a 1 drop on turn 1 against that deck, or we don't have a chance. And that is, this deck is really there to eat opponents that are playing control. We can really play the long game, and if they're controlling us, we can eventually get to 10 poison. But if they're aggro, and we don't draw Benzer, it's very hard to come, against, come up against that. We get a 1 drop, but we're no longer going first. So, yeah, it's always one or the other. We have two experiments, so I'm not going to go second. Or, I'm not going to um, mulligan, is what I'm saying. But because they have a one drop out, they're probably not going to attack, and we're probably never, never going to get the poison in. Oh, he is going to attack. That's interesting. He's not going to buff. Okay, I'm just wrong on everything, I guess. Then he has another Evolve Sleeper. Yep. At least I'm not wrong on that. So, this makes it that uh, we don't have to ping ourselves. Uh, we do have to drown this to get one Toxic in, and then they'll have a turn 3 drop, and then overrun us. Very much like last game. Very much exactly the same as last game. Except we're not even going first, so we're on the back foot for every attack. Uh, we got that going. Nothing, no place, huh? 
Well, maybe he's trying to play a removal on us. No removal. That's interesting. So we can drown the evolved sleeper now. Uh, I think it's warranted, right? If we drown the evolved sleeper. He can't grow it out of the uh, current position. He can kill the pillars. Yeah, he does. That's fine. I don't need that. Uh, well, I don't need it as much. Now that I drown it, I can boost it to three so that he is corrupted. And now I can draw two cards. So since he's mono black, that means he has no counter spells. This is the uh, poison four, poison five, poison six. <laughs> oh well, he has that. Happy to help, but I'm drop it. Mm. I guess the augury. I don't know if that was strictly correct because he's putting himself very far behind. Let's put the rat out. And then we have a counter spell. Uh, we're not a counter spell, but we have, we can hold the counter spell for later. We have a proliferate. If he makes me discard, I'll discard the hybrid bird. Because whenever I proliferate, it just comes back. So he is eating his own cards this way. Ah, right, one of your friends sacking, has so to leave. Four. Does he have a response? Does he want to kill one of my lands? He does. Well, I'm a two-color deck, so basic checking is kind of dumb. Thanks for thinning out my deck for me. Alright, so that means now I can play the other proliferate guy. And I'll hold up a counter spell even. Fun! Now Liliana's not even that threatening. Five mana, will you have to invoke? Oh, look at that, no invoke for you. Should have thought ahead. What are you doing? What are you gonna do with Lily? Plus makes her, you know, discard my proliferate card. This Zach just kills Lily. Fine. I know when I'm not <laughs> Off you go. Okay. I guess you can have that. We will play our hybrid. I'm not even gonna. Hmm, am I gonna proliferate at the end turn? Invoke? Okay, now I will. You can draw two cards. And at 12, looks like it hurts. Oh, nice top deck. Perfect time to top deck something. Let's go to the end turn here. And we will look at what card we want, huh? Vraska's Fall. That's a good card to hold up. Reverses a creature? He can probably have removals for the creatures, right? Let's see, uh, how many toxic would he have? Actually, no. Let's put the fall. Let's take the fall, I should, I should say. Because we get the hybrid bird back. So that's our creature. And now we can... Play the bird. And we can drown this, or we can counter something he plays. Let's counter something he plays. If he spends his whole turn buffing up the Evolved Sleeper, we can make him sack it. Oh, a 2-2. Scary. No, a 3-3. Kind of scary. I'll take the 3. It's not that scary. Minus 3, minus 3, huh? I don't want that to happen, so no. I need to toxic him, but let me... Should I proliferate first? Yeah, I'll kill this and proliferate first. Submit one, seven. Attack, so you're at eight. Now that I know he has the Maleficent thing, I'm not gonna even play my Blight Belly Rat. Graveyard Trespasser, that's good. For him, not for me. But, at the very least, we can get rid of it. Ow. Evolve Sleeper. Let's get rid of the Graveyard Trespasser first. That's a GG. 
because next turn we can attack for the 10. So we got the 10 this time, right? We can get the 10 sometimes. And uh, uh, the mirror deck definitely eats these control decks for breakfast. So uh, that's the whole deck list. I think the mirror deck is pretty strong, but again, you gotta play it right. And maybe there are still some fine tuning that needs to be done. It's not gonna get done because mom is coming. And so that is all I can say about this deck, really. It, Kaito never came out. That's unfortunate. I really wanted Kaito to come out to show his bouncy goodness, but uh, the only time I played it was when I was already gonna die, so it didn't matter. Uh, and that's the whole deck list. I would recommend playing this deck if you like Toxic. It's definitely way more fun than Selesnya Toxic. It's not stronger by strictly by definition, but it's more fun. There's more control elements. There's a lot of thinking involved in what you should do. And if you want to play a faster version, you can cut that. Cut out the Reject Imperfection, cut out the Rask of Fall, put in four Prologue to Pyresis, and really poison your opponents up the wazoo, right? And that's kind of the whole deck list. That's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time.